We were really appreciative of the extension because it allows the cover period to extend to December 30th of 2021. And that really allows a lot of space where we can make sure things are done properly and according to policy. Native American tribes breathed a sigh of relief recently when Congress passed the second stimulus package and the president eventually signed it. While the package extends the deadline for federally recognized tribes to spend the $8 billion from the first stimulus, it still doesn't provide the flexibility the tribes say they really need. As Tony Russell found out in tonight's series, Native America, The Road to Recovery, tribes say there are still some restrictions and requirements they must continue working through. Tara Branson Thomas helps the Muscogee Creek Nation oversee the COVID-19 CARES Act funding it received in 2020. We have always advocated for an extension. We really honestly thought it would be done a little sooner. But it didn't happen until the end of December when Congress included a one-year extension in the second stimulus package. We were really thankful for the extension. It put us in a position where we could um, create some longer uh, programming that would both support government operations, service delivery for citizens, and ultimately allow us to complete some projects that we had initiated. Those projects include increased storage space for PPE and cleaning supplies, a safe place for citizens who need services, and a meat processing facility. All three should be completed by early spring. The extended deadline also allows them to add new projects, including plans to increase safety in government workspaces with hands-free technology and a program to help the homeless. We have a lot of elders who live on fixed income where one incident could create, you know, a very significant impact in their life and ultimately could lead to homelessness. According to Congress, the second stimulus includes $3.3 billion in dedicated COVID-19 relief funding for tribes. While it's not clear yet how each tribe will benefit, Branson Thomas believes it'll allow the Muscogee Creek Nation to focus more on health care, child care, mental health programs, and vaccine deployment. It's also providing the tribe additional time to help its citizens through direct payments to individuals. The tribe now has more time to review applications that were submitted by December 15th deadline, and they recently added a second payment for those who need more help. While we're calling it a second round payment is we increase the threshold, so the payments themselves just increase. So we went from a $500 payment for hardship uh, applicants to a $1,500 payment for hardship applicants. And then for those income applicants, we went from $1,500 to $4,500. While Branson Thomas says it won't take them another year to spend the money, it does allow them to be more thoughtful and thorough in what they do, something she believes should have happened for sovereign nations even before the pandemic. Recognition through the CARES Act of tribal governments as best position to provide for their citizens is really a long time coming in the grand scheme of things. Next week, we're tracking individual payments in the Cherokee Nation and what assistance citizens say they didn't get and tried to apply for. The response from the tribe and one council member who's raising the issue. In Okmogi, covering Native America, the road to recovery. I'm Tony Russell, two works for you.